Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K17 Universe. My, my name is Brendan Blaze, and we are here with this week's SmackDown. And tonight, it's the big match that we've all been waiting for. Roman Reigns gets his chance to be inserted into the SummerSlam WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and Finn Balor. If Reigns wins tonight, he's in it to make it a triple threat. First up though, we have main event, Alicia Fox going one-on-one -on -one with Tamina. We're also going to see Apollo Crews in action against Curtis Axel. Should be a good contest there between those two, as well as this Kurt Hawkins up against one half of the War Villains, Simon Gotch. So Fox versus Tamina. Tamina picks up the win, Crews and Axel, Apollo Crews with the victory, and Hawkins versus Gotch, Simon Gotch gets the victory. All right, now for this week's SmackDown, we've got Kane going one-on-one -on -one with the very successful as of late Sami Zayn, looking to keep his momentum going with a win. We're going to see Axel and Bo Dallas teaming up now to take on the Vaude villains. Braun Strowman has a major test as he prepares for Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam. First, he must go through Baron Corbin. Dana Brooke will go one-on-one -on -one with Nikki Bella as well. And we're also going to see... Well, the SmackDown debut of the Hype Bros. Zack Ryan and Mojo Rawley were traded for the Dudley Boys. They've gone from Raw to SmackDown and they're getting themselves a big opportunity right from the get-go. Up against Enzo and Big Cass, the winning team gets a chance at Rhino and Randy Orton at SummerSlam. No one can turn a match up right there. And the match we spoke about a moment ago, Roman Reigns, AJ Styles. What a match this could be. Reigns looking to get a title shot at SummerSlam. He has to beat AJ to do it though. Can he get the win tonight? First up, Kane versus Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn with the victory. Tag team matchup here between Axel and Dallas against the Vought Villains. And it is the Vought Villains with the win. Strowman versus Baron Corbin. It is going to be Braun Strowman with the victory. And Dana versus Nikki Bella. Nikki, she picks up the victory. Well, big opportunity here for both tag teams in this matchup. And it is Enzo and Cass, of course, against the Hype Bros. Enzo and Cass, former SmackDown Tag Team Champions, as we know. Two-time Tag Team Champions, in fact. And they've been very impressive over their last number of months. But uh, one team that has certainly got the better of them, and they have not really been able to manage to stop, is Rai KO, Randy Orton and Rhino. And... They have yet to get themselves an opportunity at the tag team title since losing it. And this is an opportunity here for Enzo and Cass to finally have that chance. But it's been some time now, obviously, bragging rights in between. And because of that, well, Randy Orton and, and Rhino didn't have to defend. And they went on to take on the club at bragging rights instead, of course, the Raw tag team champions in the club. So Randy Orton and Rhino are unsuccessful on that occasion. So maybe there, there's some vulnerability there. Maybe the confidence is down to Randy and Rhino. I'm not sure. But uh, opportunity here for both of these teams regardless. And we see the newest team here on SmackDown. A huge trade going down this week. With the Hype Bros joining the SmackDown roster. And the Dudley Boys heading over to Raw. The trade has been done. The trade's been made. And as you can see right here, this is what we've got. Zack Ryder, Mojo Rawley now on SmackDown. The Dudleys over on Raw. Good opportunity here for the Hype Bros. I feel like... They're a team that are championship material, but a lot of really solid teams over in Raw. And I think they were just, you know, they were just behind. They just weren't able to really get themselves through that, the middle of the pack. And the opportunities weren't quite there for them. But I think they'll be able to prosper a lot better here on SmackDown. I think a few more opportunities, opportunities will come their way. And obviously a chance here against Enzo and Cass. A victory gets them a shot at Randy and Rhino at SummerSlam. And Enzo with an elbow there to Mojo, who's a big man, as we know, Mojo. And he's full of energy, and he can be quite dangerous in the ring as well with the power that he has and the intensity that he brings to the table. 
So don't count out Mojo at all. And Zack Ryder, we know, very experienced at this point. And all that experience can be used to his advantage here. Him and Mojo have been pretty good. You would have to admit they've been pretty good as a tag team thus far. Without winning the championships, without being the top team, they've been up there. But obviously being on Raw with the, the club is not easy because the club have been so impressive. So a fresh opportunity here for the Hype Bros. A fresh start as a knee there by Enzo. As Big Cass might be looking to enter in now, and he will. So Big Cass is in. So sometimes, you know, a new opportunity, a, a new change of scenery is what you need. I mean, look at Dean Ambrose over on Raw. He was struggling over on SmackDown here, moved over to Raw, and all of a sudden, a couple of big victories in a row, and he's got some momentum. The confidence is back. The Dean Ambrose of old is slowly starting to return. Maybe the Hype Bros. Changing over to SmackDown could be exactly what they needed. And let's be honest, the Dudley boys weren't exactly excelling over here on uh, SmackDown either. So it's a change of scenery for that team as well. Obviously, the Dudley's legendary team. They're getting up there in age, but they've still got some gas left in the tank, to be fair. Is now Big Cass getting up to his feet. Here comes Zach. And a drop kick off the second. Connecting very well as well. So... Zack Ryder, as you said, very experienced being involved in a number of situations like this. And he knows what to expect and what he needs to do here to make sure that his team gets the victory tonight. Enzo is in, though. You have to admit, probably Enzo and Cass's confidence is certainly down. Losing to Rai KO. You know, I don't know if they're going to be able to get themselves back to where they were. Two-time tag. Chances. Oh, a clothesline there by Enzo. You know, they've had their success and they've had their losses, but honestly, Enzo and Cass is still one of the best teams here on SmackDown. And I guess because of the SmackDown division not having as many top-tier teams, they've been able to stay on top. Randy and Rhino are really a makeshift tag team, just kind of forming out of thin air. And they've been able to make it work, but there will be some cracks and there will be some weaknesses at some point that you know should get exploited. Maybe the Hype Bros are the team to do it. Maybe Enzo and Cass have figured them out finally and figured out a way to finally beat the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Elbow there by Big Cass. Follows up with a stomp as well. There's Big Cass getting Zack Ryder up though. The heads collide though with the headbutt. And now Zack Ryder with the neck breaker. Big Cass is down. Such an important match here for the Hype Bros. You don't want to come to a new brand. You don't want to have a fresh start and lose. It won't derail them. You know, it'll be a learning experience for them. And losing to Enzo and Cass is, you know, no, that's no big deal. I mean, it's not going to kill their careers or anything like that. They're still going to have plenty of opportunities down the line to get themselves a chance at the tag titles. It's not going to hurt them too much, but you want to come in and you want to send a big message right from the get-go. And losing won't help their cause. And obviously at SummerSlam, you get yourselves an opportunity on one of the biggest stages of the year to take on Randy Orton and Rhino in a tag team match for the championships. That's huge. Right now, Zack Ryder looking to go for the broski boot in the corner. Big boot right there to Big Cass. And the big man in major trouble here. Zack's got him rolled over. And this could be it. Zack Ryder to win here. A kick out of two by Big Cass though. But to be fair, Zack Ryder in a really good position. Zack Ryder could be on the verge of winning this thing, maybe. Sweeping Cass off his feet now. And now Zack maybe looking for the Rough Ryder. Zack Ryder now from behind. Oh, big Cass though. Able to counter. And Zack looking to plant down big Cass. The head driven into the mat. And now what is next for Zack Ryder? He might be going for it now. Zach looking to put Big Cass away. Can he connect this time? Here he comes. Oh, the jawbreaker there by Big Cass. Though, able to counter. Sends him back into the corner though. And now Zach. Here we go. And a tornado. DDT. Could be in here. The Hype Bros going to SummerSlam. Can they do it? No. Kick out by Big Cass. Such an important occasion as we said. Number one contenderships on the line. Enzo and Cass looking to get themselves back to the top. The Hype Bros looking to finally establish themselves as a top team. And an opportunity awaits for one of these teams at SummerSlam. Neckbreaker though, into the shoulder. 
Affected though from Zach. Who's looking to be shouldering majority of the load here. He's been able to keep Big Cass away from the tag. And also been doing most of the work himself. Now up top. Zach Ryder on the top of the rope. Zach going for it. Look out. 450. Zach Ryder risking it all with the 450 splash. And he gets the three count. Enzo nowhere to be found. Couldn't get there in time. And Zach Ryder isolating Big Cass for long enough. And he gets the win. The Hype Bros are going to SummerSlam and they kick off their SmackDown tenure with a huge win over the former tag team champions Enzo and Cass. Well, Zack and Mojo, they've done it. Here it was, 450. Excellent move by Zack. Couldn't get it done with the Rough Rider, so he had to change plans and it worked. Big Cass splashed down, had a great cover on him as well and got him down for the three. So there it is, Zack and Mojo. They're a team on SmackDown now, and they are, well, starting off as a very successful team as well. Excellent victory tonight. Now the next stop for them is SummerSlam against Randy Orton and Ryder. It is time for our big main event here on SmackDown. We've got the big dog, Roman Reigns, up against AJ Styles with a spot on the line for Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Well, Reigns has been able to kind of squirm his way into this situation. Obviously, having lots of experience with Finn Balor in the last number of, mo of months, taking him on many times without a lot of luck in the end. Still does not have the WWE Championship around his waist, despite getting the better of Finn Balor on a number of occasions. Instead, Roman Reigns finds himself without an opponent at SummerSlam, without a match at SummerSlam, and, well, his future is once again unknown. Despite having arguably three of the best months of his career in recent times, Roman Reigns, still, his future, we just don't know. Unsuccessful at King of the Ring, which is the reason why AJ Styles is here. AJ, the king of the ring winner, invoking his victory, the claws in it, and he can pick which brand he wants to go and challenge the major championship for at SummerSlam. He decided to come here to SmackDown, and geez, he made a statement of bragging rights when he took down Finn Balor, took him out of the equation for the time being. Finn Balor not here tonight, still recovering from those injuries. Now AJ needs to lock his match in because of AJ Styles' actions at Bragging Rights. Well, the SmackDown general manager wasn't exactly thrilled that his major star and his champion Finn Balor is on the shelf for a few weeks. So because of that, AJ has been punished and will have to look to defend his spot at SummerSlam to try and keep it to a one-on-one. -on -one. He still has the title match. He can't take that away from him, but he can add an extra man to it, and Roman Reigns could be inserted in the match to make it a triple threat at SummerSlam. Something Finn Balor and Roman Reigns know all about. Recently having a triple threat, of course, at Money in the Bank. So here we go. They lock up, and it's AJ versus Roman Reigns. AJ Styles' first match, a part of the SmackDown brand, officially. So this is a big test for AJ as well. Looking to take down... Arguably the biggest man, the, the toughest opponent that's not the WWE Champion right now, and that's Roman Reigns. So this is the ultimate test here for AJ, and a great way to kind of tune up his skills and prepare for the champion at SummerSlam. AJ has Reigns up to his feet, has a front face lock right now. He's not going to be able to take advantage by the looks of it. Couldn't quite get the hold that he wanted. Instead, back to the collar and elbow, now the side headlock. So, both men looking to try looking to try and establish dominance here and get the upper hand of the opening stages of this matchup. Of course, Roman Reigns has been dealing with Sami Zayn, who he's had his issues with for months now. Reigns finally getting rid of Sami Zayn out of the equation, finally beating him once and for all, and has the opportunity to move on from Sami Zayn. So, a big win for Roman Reigns. It was. It was great to see him finally getting his chance, but. You know, you like him or hate him, but Roman Reigns, you have to respect the fact that he has not given up despite, despite all the issues that he's had, despite so many opportunities being taken away from him when he, you know, arguably he's deserved them. He's 
you know, still fighting. He's still going. And I don't like his attitude. I don't like the way he's gone about it. I don't like the fact that he's been blindsiding superstars, especially Sami Zayn, what he did, attacking Sami Zayn brutally before that a steel cage match, of course, at Extreme Rules. Can't forget that. You can't appreciate a lot of the things that Roman Reigns has done, but you can respect the fact that he's still here and he's still fighting and still trying to get his title shot. As now Reigns, look out, belly to belly. Great power display there. Into the cover now. Could be in here for AJ. Trouble early on as Reigns gets the two count, but has the upper hand in the opening stages and is looking the goods. Stopping away now on AJ as well. And AJ Styles, well, has gone from being the best on Raw, now trying to make sure that he is the best on SmackDown. Obviously, many believe AJ could have beaten Goldberg if he had stayed on Raw and challenged him. I think AJ might have been the one guy that could have. The momentum that AJ has got for himself as Reigns slams down AJ. The momentum for AJ is huge right now. You win King of the Ring. That's arguably the toughest tournament to win in the WWE. The hardest match the hardest series of matches to get through and he did it and he won it so he's earned this opportunity he's earned this chance at the championship and AJ Styles is without a doubt back to his best he's at his absolute best right now so he could have stayed on Raw but deciding to try and get himself some Wrestlemania revenge I, I think as now AJ look out suplex there by Reigns we can only really assume that this is what it's all about. Of course, AJ Styles, now the leader of the club. Well, he lost at WrestleMania to Finn Balor in that match between the two former leaders, well, the one current and the former leader, Finn Balor, of the club. It was basically a battle to find out who was the better out of the two. And AJ, on that occasion, lost. So maybe there's still some bad blood there from AJ Styles. Or maybe he just believes he can't beat Goldberg at this point. Or maybe the, the alliance that he established with Goldberg He's not worth breaking at this point. Excellent move there by AJ. And now looking to fly over the top of the rope. Roman Reigns in some trouble if he's going to get to his feet here. AJ Styles looking to fly and connect. Connecting with a blockbuster there. Springing off the ropes. Reigns is in some trouble. AJ starting to get into his work right now. Snapmare takedown as well. So does AJ Styles not back himself to beat Goldberg? Because let's be honest, Goldberg has dismantled every single man in his path. Nobody has been able to get close to beating Goldberg. The only man who's done it is Seth Rollins. So we're going to find out on the next episode of Raw if Goldberg can actually beat Seth Rollins in that matchup for the Universal Championship. That is going to be huge. You will not want to miss that one. But for now, I mean, AJ has to kind of wonder, is he making the right decision? We don't really know. Finn Balor is on the shelf right now. We don't even know if Finn Balor is going to be medically cleared for SummerSlam. And if he is, I'm sure as hell he probably won't be 100%. So... I don't know. It's a tough situation. It's a tough choice. And AJ needs to make sure that he picked the right one. There's no going back right now, of course. But uh, for now, he needs to make sure that Roman Reigns is not added to the match. Reigns has a hold of AJ once again. Looking to try and pick him up and slam him down. It works successfully. And AJ is down in the elbow to follow it up. So Roman Reigns has control of the matchup right now. He needs to keep it, though. As AJ shot to the gut there of Roman Reigns. As now AJ, look out, Pele kick right on the skull, and Reigns has been rocked. Roman Reigns is in some trouble. We'll find out if he can hang on when we come back right after the break. NXT TakeOver is coming your way in a couple of weeks' time right here on Brendan Plays. In the main event, Bobby Roode defending against Ty Dillinger for the NXT Championship. It is coming your way soon right here on Brendan Plays. And of course, the next episode of Universe Mode will be NXT. And we'll be wrapping things up as we get ready for the NXT TakeOver Special. Well, we are back here on SmackDown. And right now, it's Roman Reigns back in control. Things weren't looking good for him before the break. But he's been able to work his way back into this matchup. AJ Styles has looked the goods, though. But it's been an even contest between the two. If Roman Reigns can stay on top here, well, that's the, exactly what he needs to get himself this victory. Roman Reigns, well, he's not the type of guy who can pull out a big lucky win sometimes. He needs to really work your opponent down. He needs to really beat you down. AJ with that moonsault the second. Can't get the win, though. AJ Styles. Well, we know how good he is. We know he can out-wrestle Roman Reigns. There's no doubt about that. Try to get into a technical match. Reigns will lose. 
Reigns is going to have to try and keep this one more of a brawl. And that will, I suppose, help AJ. The blood flying now for Reigns. There's another Pele kick. Reigns has rocked again. But Reigns this time shrugs off AJ, learning from his mistake from last time. And Roman Reigns trying to stay in control. Now a clothesline. AJ has the blood flowing. And that's trouble here for Reigns. AJ's got a clear target now. And Reigns, look out, rolls through. And here comes the power of Roman Reigns. Powerbomb. Using the power. And with the sit-out powerbomb, Reigns has AJ right where he wants him. Going to drag him towards the middle of the ring. Thought about a cover instead. Wow, what a shot there to AJ Styles. And has cut AJ open as well. That, that shot, that punch was huge. And AJ clearly feeling the effects now. AJ with the power bomb he's on. This time, bridging through. Here's the cover. Reigns shoulders down in a bad position, but has enough to kick out. Well, that's what AJ needs to do. Utilize those unorthodox covers. Those pinfall attempts, they're deadly. And they could be a game changer. AJ now heading outside. Perhaps going with a phenomenal forearm connecting. Reigns is down. AJ has got the phenomenal forearm. Reigns going to be beaten here. Oh, a kick out though. Wow, I thought that was three. That was so close. But I think the referee got it right for once. <laughs> Shoulder block takedown. Reigns just kicking out, keeping this match alive. But that forearm worked like a charm. Now the Superman punch by Reigns. The Superman punch. Now looking for the spear. If he connects with this, it's over. He's going to SummerSlam. Reigns, is he going to SummerSlam? He's found the spear. And Reigns may be about to make this a triple threat. The spear. AJ kicked out though. Well, the setup was not bad. The Superman punched straight into the spear. Perhaps Reigns not an, hasn't done enough groundwork, though. Hasn't worn AJ down enough. And whilst he's hit his best combination, the 1-2, the Superman punch into the spear, it's still not enough to put AJ away. The cover now from AJ. Trying to work his way back into it. Trying to recover after that combination. And also try to put the pressure back on Roman Reigns. So big couple of minutes in this match. The phenomenal forearm kicked out. And now the spear has been kicked out as well. AJ looking to risk it all right now. Heading up to the top. Reigns slowly back to his feet. AJ. Oh, Reigns counted into the power slam. Reigns caught him. Hit the power slam. Could be it here for AJ. But a kick out again. Great counter there by Roman Reigns. Great ring... Awareness and able to realize what was happening and an opportunity to catch out AJ and AJ making a, a critical mistake Could it cost him AJ? Gonna keep on risking it though going back in the second and this time the DDT onto the ropes and quite often He uses this as a setup for that phenomenal forearm But instead this time back in the ring more work to be done for AJ snapmare and Reigns going to be picked up by AJ, looking for some 19, 16. Picks him up, slams him down, and he's got him. AJ, he's feeling it right now. The arrogance on display of AJ Styles. We know what he's like. We know the character that he is, the personality that he's got. You don't have to like it, but you have to respect the fact that he's in this position. And he's only minutes away, maybe, of... Earning himself a one-on-one -on -one match at SummerSlam against Finn Balor for the WWE Championship. Reigns, can he make it a triple threat? Critical moment in this match right now. AJ, head first, DDT striking. Reigns is down. AJ not going for the pinfall though. Instead, going to get Reigns in a bad predicament. Calf crusher, but Reigns' boot was just underneath the rope. The referee ruling it. The rope break in force, perhaps saving the day. Now AJ, once again, for going for the cover, but Reigns is near the ropes. Reigns being a little lucky. The long legs that he's got, the ring positioning has, has saved him. AJ's trying to give, give him everything. He's trying everything. The calf crusher, quick roll up. He's doing it all right now. Going back to the basics. Going back to his big move. Perhaps the formidable, phenomenal forearm. Yes, he's got it again. 
AJ connects. This time Reigns hasn't got a counter. Is this enough to beat Reigns? Yes, it is. He's been knocked down. He's been knocked out. And AJ has sealed the deal. He's going to SummerSlam to take on Finn Balor for the WWE Championship. What a win this is tonight. AJ Styles has done it. It's a huge victory for AJ. I thought Reigns might have been able to sneak in and make it a triple threat, really upsetting AJ Styles' chances, but it's, it's confirmed. We'll seal the deal. A WrestleMania main event rematch. It takes place at SummerSlam. Months apart from each other, but they're back reuniting again. AJ and Finn Balor one more time at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. Reigns once again comes so close, but he just can't do it. Instead, it's AJ earning his chance one-on-one. -on -one. It's huge for AJ. It's a massive win. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we turn our attention quickly towards the upcoming NXT TakeOver Special. It's coming away in a couple of weeks' time right here on Brendan Plays. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this episode of Universe Mode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to see the NXT TakeOver Special and SummerSlam, which is coming away very, very soon. And also, make sure you go ahead and check out my brand new series on the channel, Total Extreme Wrestling 2016. We are doing a TNA 2006 playthrough. You do not want to miss that one. So go ahead and check that one out. Check out the forums as well, brendanplays.com forward slash forums. Follow me on Twitter at Brendan Plays and leave a like on the Facebook page. Brendan Plays is the name. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next one.